Hi guys, it's Linda and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this pink soft girl look featuring YesStyle's Japanese products. This video is not sponsored but YesStyle did send me some products in exchange for this video. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. To start off, I will be using sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important and should be your last step of your morning skincare and first step in your makeup routine. Don't forget your neck! Moving on to primer. If you watch my other makeup videos, you know how much I love this. It's a base before I put on my makeup to help my skin breathe and to appear smooth. Now before moving on to the face, let's prep the lip. I sometimes forget to do this step, but it's always nice too. Yesa did not send me a foundation, so I'll be using this cushion from M Cosmetics. Let's prime the eyelids before setting the face. I'm just gonna do some quick contour. I'm using a fluffy pointy brush instead of an angle brush this time to apply just a little bit below my cheekbone. Okay, so for the brows, I used this in one of my other video and I think I'm still not using this product right. <sighs> Please do not do what I'm doing here, or you'll be giving yourself a hard time. This brow product is meant to fluff your brows, so make sure to use this after you draw in your brows. Finally to the eyeshadow. I don't think I have anything quite dainty like this. I love the packaging of this palette. It's totally giving me princess vibes. It's pretty small so you can take it out and won't take up a lot of space in your bag. I also love how it tells you where to layer on the shades, like a guide to those unfamiliar with makeup. So I highly recommend this to those who are beginning to explore makeup and looking for something on the natural side. You can't go wrong with these shades for a natural look. I'm using the Shiseido Curler for my lashes. This curler is made for Asian eyes like my monolids and it curls all of my lashes. For mascara, I'm using the Kiss Me Heroin Make Long and Curls Mascara. I've heard so many good things about this mascara and I can understand why it's a staple to have. It makes your lashes longer and curl up. It's also waterproof and smudge proof. Next, I'm just popping on some falsies. And here, I'm just doing some little touch-ups on the eye makeup. Moving on to blush, I'm using this Kenmake Lip and Cheek Gel. And again with the packaging, I love how it gives a princess vibe to it. The texture is smooth and creamy, and what I love about this is how easy this blends. And shortly after applying some on, I thought of an idea that using cutout heart shapes to get the outline from the blush would be really cute. I am using this by Festa Eye and Lip Makeup Remover to clean up the hearts. And I'm also using the cheek gel on my lips. Now, just a few touch-ups before we set the look. No, no, no. And this is the finished look. Now 
Now before I cue the outro, I want to show you how I remove my makeup and cleanse. I'm using Kiss Me Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover on my lashes. This is now my holy grail because it melts the mascara and removes it swiftly. It's also really gentle and easy to use. I'm using the Bifesta remover to show just how easy the makeup comes off and what's great about it is that it cleans and moisturizes your skin at the same time. And for the rest of my face, I'm just using a cleansing balm to melt away the makeup. I'm doing a double cleansing here to make sure that I got all the makeup off. For toner, I'm using this cotton pad and I've been using this ever since I first started my skincare journey. What's different about this cotton pad is that it holds the products instead of absorbing it. And by doing so, you get the product to go where you need it to. Ah, oh, I just realized that I got a bug bite here. Anyway, after you apply your toner, you can see how clean you've cleansed. Double cleansing is so important, especially when you wear makeup. Next step is serum and don't forget to use the pet pad for better absorption. And then the moisturizer. I'm warming up some eye cream with the tips of my ring fingers and I like to pat the cream onto my lids since the skin there is pretty delicate. And there you have it! Ugh, and this dumb bug bite. When did it even bit me? Ay ay ay. Alright, cue the outro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this soft girl makeup look. I think it's very cute and wearable outside. And thank you to YesStyle for sending some of these products for me to try. I will be linking all of the products I use for this makeup look down in the description box below. So don't forget to check it before leaving. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like me, make sure to follow my Instagram to keep up with me because I post something every day. Make sure to turn on my notifications both on Instagram and YouTube so you will never miss a post. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one.